Oh my god. I mean, the fish don't really come close enough. Maybe this is a skill in itself. Or is it for the sh... Oh, I got one! <laughs> Alright, so we got one. Excellent, so let's go and cook that then. <laughs> I can't believe we actually got that on our first try. Hey up troops, welcome back to the Latana army, I'm Latana and today we're playing Bermuda. Now we've been at this on the channel before already, but what I wanted to do is actually expand a little bit on what we did last time, because there's been some changes already. So what you can see on here, if you look at the map, we've now got a bigger playing area apparently, so the area that we can explore, which is out here uh, in this quadrant by the look of it, is now being expanded. So this is now being filled up with more stuff. Uh, we've also got that buoys can be named, which we didn't have before. And another thing what I saw as well, you can upgrade your knives and things now. So if you look here, you know, we can unlock this axe. So we need, what did it say there at the bottom? Bottom right there, five stones and five sticks. So if I just get them out of my crafting area now. So I'll just get all the stones and all the sticks. Um, and if we just get that now. Uh, let's get in the right menu, that would help. So you can unlock... There you go, look, and now we've got an axe instead. Now that might mean that we can get, oh, and we can get a spear, what does that need? Five stone, ten sticks, three rope. Okay, so let's have a look if we can equip this. Oh, look. So this is way better. So when we're harvesting now, hopefully we can get a lot more things. Now, what I also figured out is we can build one of these drying racks here. And this is how we get rope. I was speaking to some guys in the Discord earlier, and I, I didn't know how to get rope at all. So if you look there, we've just put that in there, and we're going to build this, this drying rack. There we go, and we just put that over there like so. We'll get the seaweed as well. Here we are. Okay, now I'm sure the base could look a lot better. But at the minute, it is what it is. <laughs> so let's just get up here and I'll show you guys. Oh, what I've also done as well, what you can now do, is keybind to um, the settings that you want. So if you go controls there, if you look, use or interact, I've put that to E. Uh, just because it's more in line with games that are out there at the moment, um, and it's a little bit more like they are. So if I go this one now, so I want to make this drying rack. Um, place, rotate, rotate, I don't want to put it there. Place, rotate, about there would we say? <laughs> I don't know if that's the best place to put it, but still. So what we'll do is then, if I put this seaweed now into there, and then click run, it starts to build me rope. So now I've got rope on this drying rack. So I've only got two little uh, planks at the moment, and then I've got this little uh, thing here, drying out the seaweed, and then getting me rope. So, seaweed is now useful to me. So what we actually need next, let's have a look at the next crafting step. Now, I wouldn't mind upgrading that. Upgrading the knife. Oh, that's a spear. Okay, so to upgrade the knife, I think we can do that already. Oh, 10 scrap metal, 15 sticks, and 10 rope. The hardest thing I find in this game to get is planks. But maybe, now that we've got the axe, it might be able to hit the uh, the shipwreck. And we may be able to get... Oh, damn it. Why am I out of oxygen already? I've just jumped in. Oh, we're not. We're out of, uh, we're out of water. Okay, let's get water before we die. I don't want to die this early on. Okay, okay. Alright, we're doing it, we're doing it. Um, This one. And then we go in here, click use. Oh my god. Yeah, that's worked. Oh, I thought I was out of oxygen already. I thought that was the uh, the main problem there. All right, good. All right, so as before, let's go down and search. Oh, let's try these barrels as well now we've got the axe. It's kind of experimenting now. Let's try uh, the barrels and the shipwreck because planks are so hard to get. Okay, so we can't do anything with that one. We'll gather these planks up. I'll edit out a lot of the gathering for you guys because there is a lot in this game so far. However, they have said that the uh, there should be more areas now. You can also, as well in the game, choose a female character for the first time in the most recent update, which is pretty cool. And there's a craftable bed in there apparently as well. So if, can't show you just yet, but if we're going to craft in later on, then we can show you that there is a craftable bed option in there. But we'll have a look at that when we go back up. So for now, let's grab all the sticks. Grab this one, grab this one. All right, and what do we, do we get more? Oh, I can't harvest with that. I can only harvest with the, with the knife for the seaweed. All right, so I wonder what the axe is for then. Maybe it's for the barrels. Where did we see those? All right, let's go up a little bit. 
I think the oxygen goes down a little bit quicker now as well. Or it certainly feels like it does. Let's go and get some air. It's going down quite rapidly. And we'll come back down onto uh, one of the cans and see if we can open that now that we've got the axe. There we go. So that's our oxygen bar. If you look down the right hand side, that's all the, uh, the bars that we've got. So we've got oxygen, water, food. Uh, I'm guessing brain sanity, maybe? I don't know. Uh, health and then our bag at the back now did we see I'm looking for a can all right let's just go down here first because a lot of planks here now this axe could make everything a lot easier for us let's pick up these planks first it's so much easier on E it's got more of a, uh, a subnautica stroke stranded deep feel to it now which I think that's much much better just by you Changing the key band into E has made a massive difference. Alright, so can I... Oh, I can harvest that, but what if I... Ch ah, look! So now with the axe, we can harvest planks. 11 planks, 12... Oh, this is much better. So now with this axe, we can get planks. I don't know if there's durability on the axe, but this will make building our um, actual base now 100 times faster. So can we get up to like 50 would be probably good? No, we're not going to be able to because we're going to drown. Alright, let's get to 40 and then we'll go up. We may as well chance it. And the sharks at the minute are still passive, so the sharks are still not causing us any sort of hassle at the moment. Bermuda sharks seem to be quite nice. Oh, I've got the, uh, I can hear the heartbeat. We'll make it, we'll make it. Yeah, yeah there we go. Alright, so let's get back down and get more planks and then we can build quite a lot, I think, with this. Forget the sticks as well. I've got quite a lot of stone. Oh, okay, I had quite a lot of stone. I've got one left. Maybe we can harvest the rocks as well. So this axe has actually really opened up the game and made a huge difference. Look, so here we are. I'm going to get to 50... Let's say... I might even do 60, you know. 60 planks. Yeah, okay, we can do this. Oh, it's broke. Damn it. And we can only get the top part of the actual boat itself, so maybe we can get this one as well. But maybe we should use this one and get sticks. Alright, let's see how much we can use of this one. Oops. There we go. So let's get this up to 60 and then we'll go sticks after that, I think. So, 55. Alright, then switch over to the knife. And this gets us sticks instead. Alright, okay, and we're about halfway there on the uh, on the oxygen, so that's good so far. It's definitely got, um, it's definitely opened up, and I'm, I'm really impressed at how quick uh, the devs have made these positive changes. They've obviously listened to the community, and they've obviously looked at the videos on YouTube, the posts in the forums, the feedback on Reddit, and they've already started to, uh, to make positive changes. So you can't ask for more than that in a game, really. Right, I'm going to chance this. We can get to 50 before we have to go up. Uh-oh. Alright, I think I made a bad choice. I think we made a bad choice. Can we get to the top on time? Go, 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 go. Don't drown, dude. Alright, here we go. Yeah, we're there. We made it. We made it. We made it. So let's take this back to the raft then. Where... Where'd the raft go? Oh my god, right, it's there. Alright. I wish they had a swimming animation from the top. You know, that's one thing that... Definitely is needed eventually. Okay, and we can see there that water's about halfway down. We need something that'll get us drinking water, so we need to maybe look to build something along those lines. But let's get back on and we'll expand our base a little bit now, because we can do that. Once we have got into the crafting, uh, crafting box that's on there. Also, another little section that I wanted to show you as well is about saving your game. A lot of people complained last time, me included, that there were no save game option. If you look at this little bedroll here, if you use that, then what you can actually do is just look, click new save there. So you just click there, new save, and then there it is. And then that's my latest save there. So what I will do now, let's put this into the crafting area. So we'll transfer all these across. Alright, I've got more scrap metal now, I've got some stone, more stone. Oh, we'll put the seaweed on the rack with the other stuff. Oh, we've even got rope now, let's get the rope before we start crafting anything. So, I wish I'd have built that, oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, let's put that in there, 
We'll get this back. And we'll get that to get even more rope. I need a lot more seaweed by the look of it. Okay, so we've got things we can craft. I can get more things to dry seaweed out. But now look, we can build a lot of this stuff with the planks. Uh, and it looks like they've brought down the cost, the material cost. Because if you look, that now only needs 12 planks and 12 sticks. I'm sure it needed more than that before. So let's do two more floorings then for that. So uh, one, two, we need two of those. And potentially a wall maybe? Now wooden frame, this is the basic... Basic wooden building structure. So do we have to clip these walls into these? I don't even know. Um, Alright. Well, do you know what? Before we do that, let's just make the... Uh, oh, I missed. I missed. I missed. I missed. Let's just make the base bigger. Come on, let us up. Alright. And we'll get the hammer then. It's dead easy to, to snap the pieces in. I didn't pick them up out of the thing, did I? <laughs> Alright, so there they are. So we'll put those in there. Put the rope in there. Ah, now that means we can build uh, another crafting box. Now, we don't need that just yet. God damn it. Alright, let's get up on there. Oh, right, okay. Right. So snap, rotate. Snap, rotate. Good. Perfect. All right, good. So now we've got this little, like, platform that we're staying on at the minute. Now, what else can we build? Really, I miss that every single time. Okay, so let's get in here again. And what is this? Wooden railing. Uh, we don't really need that just yet. I really want this workbench. So we need ten, eight planks, ten sticks, and ten scrap metal. Now, to get the scrap metal, I think... Uh, eat as well. I think what we're going to need to do to hit one of those bins, the metal bins, with the axe. So let's try that. I'm going to put this in here. And we could do some more seaweed as well to get more rope. So set the knife off. We're all good to go, I think. Alright, good. Oh, there's some. Alright, so I'm going to try and hit these little metal containers now with the axe. And see if that means we can harvest scrap metal. Because again, now, building's getting way faster. Um, which is great, because I can show you much more in the video before the time runs out. So... Can we harvest? Yes, we can. Oh, we can get quite a lot, look. I wonder how many this is going to let us get before it explodes. Five. Oh, gosh, all right. So this should take us to ten. And there's another one just behind this one, if you can see there on the right of your screen. Ten. So that should be fifteen, shark shadow. <laughs> we should be all right. I don't think the shark's, uh, the shark's not got anything on us at the moment. All right, good. And I also need to harvest the uh, the seaweed as well, which is from these like strand things. Anyone familiar with uh, the kelp forests in Subnautica will recognise these things. There we go, a bit more seaweed. Do you know what? We can even make our way up a little bit. Okay, so there we go. So we're going to get a few of these, I think. Oh, we can really only hit these like once or twice. Alright, good. Oh, I wonder what happens if we hit the boxes. We are running a bit low on... Uh, a bit low on oxygen, but let's just have a look. Alright, so the pl right, so the boxes give, uh, give planks, which is great. Okay, so let's make our way up to the top then. Put our new things in the crafting box. This is a much better video than last time, as I said, because I'm get, I'm, we're getting more done this time. Alright, so let's just get these in here. We are working out of the raft at the moment, but that's okay. Alright, I'm going to put the seaweed into the thing. Right, let's try and make this jump this time. Okay, here we go. We can do this, we can do this. Oh, wow. <laughs> Alright, never mind, never mind. The jump's not for us, so let's just put this seaweed into here. Run that a little bit more. Oh, that was... Oh, that's how long it takes to build all four. I get it. Right, okay. Now, we can definitely do the jump back. Yeah, all right. There we go. And let's put the extra rope into there. That gives us four rope. So now we can make this buoy, which uses... 
Uh, boys, to mark positions you want to revisit later. For example, resource points or other points of interest. So that's quite useful, but this is what I actually wanted, the workbench. So let's craft this. This is the main one that I wanted. And you know what? Maybe we can do the walls as well. Maybe. Hmm. Oh god, so many planks. All right, we'll get we'll get all the planks later on. Maybe we can do that on the next video. But for now, I just want the workbench because I want to see what it can do for us. So let's put the workbench over there. Okay, I'm not not even trying to make that jump anymore. We just we just accept that it can't be done. <laughs> all right, so workbench then. So let's get the thing, the workbench. We'll may as well just put that put it next to it, I guess. Um. Okay, then we'll place it, I don't know, maybe here? Yeah, why not? Okay, so what do we do with this then? What can we make? Oh, right. So the workbench gives us access to a barbecue bucket. So a barbecue, a simple cooking station, which is fueled by sticks or planks. Water distillery kit, we're distilling salt water into drinkable clean water. So there's quite a lot here, and all we need is scrap metal and planks. We could do with a storage box run here, to be fair, but why don't we build, then, um, another construction box and make... In fact, we can deconstruct this, can't we? So let's take everything out. Take everything out, everything out, everything... Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, that's not going to work, because if we take everything out, we'd have no construction box and nothing to make another construction box in. So if we craft this one first... Then move everything out, then we can move it over to our actual platform. Alright, so let's do that. The only thing we have got on here at the minute is the food and the bedroll. But we can craft a bed apparently now. Which might be from the uh, the other station. So let's just have a look. I want to put the constructing thing over here. Oi, we did it that time. Oh, we can just pop it there, look. Perfect. There we go. And I'm going to put all the things into this one now because this is nearer to everything that we need. Alright, so let's pop these over here. Perfect. Alright. And then let's take the hammer off. Alright, so five scrap metal at eight sticks. You know what? I want this out of there. I want to put this in the, the other one because I think we can actually make something cool already. And we'll, that would be a nice end to the video if we could make something now. Okay, luminous coral crafting material. Well, I've not seen anything we can use that on yet. So we've got stones, metal, planks, sticks, one rope, and ten thingies. We can get some rope off here, I think. Yeah, look, we've got four rope there. Run that again. No, we haven't got enough. So we need quite a lot of seaweed to make that actually work and be profitable. So what's this? A dock. Used to construct, maintain, and upgrade a raft. That could be useful. Ah, there's the bedlock. So we need five planks, five sticks, and ten rope. So we've got everything bar the rope. So let's get a rope, make a bed, and then that is where we will call the video, I think. Because we can get this, uh, we can get the the rope easily now, now that we know what we're actually doing with it. Okay, let's come and get you. And then what I'll do, I'll do some gathering off camera and I think ready for the next video. And then what we can actually do is look towards really fleshing this base out. And really making it worth a, worth a look. And I'm, it's getting a lot more feel like a raft now. It's not quite as big. Do you know it's not quite as large as what it is. But we've also got a new area to go and look at as well. I hope I didn't, thought I was going to hit that shark by accident then. Okay, so there's some more over here. We just go and get this. Yeah, and the crafting element is so much better already. Like I said, it's so much faster. It was we played it extremely early access on the last game. We played it a few days ago. And I think it was a little bit too fast. But now looking at this, this is much, much better. Uh, now we've got what? 36. Let's get for let's let's go for 40 just because it's a round number. And then we'll get back to the raft. Okay, here we go. 41. Okay. Oh. I mean, do we want a bed or do we want to look at a food source first? Because maybe that's probably better for us. Um. Oh. Well, we can make the barbecue bucket anyway. 
wooden door. Yeah, we're not ready for any of that yet. What's this standing torch? We don't need that yet. Bed. What are we missing? Rope. Okay, so we need to build the rope using this thing. Let's put that in there. Run that. That's going to get us nine rope, which is actually plenty. And that'll be enough to make us the bed. Then we'll put the bed on there. And then I think we should be all, we should be good to go. Okay, so it takes a little moment. So what else have we got in the meantime? Let's just put our barbecue bucket down, which I think we've still got in there. I don't know what we put in the barbecue bucket. I mean, obviously, the, the obvious thing is fish. But we don't really have any just yet. But maybe that's what the what the spear's for. Let's see if we can upgrade this to the spear yet. So we need five stone, ten sticks, three rope. Well, we have got them things. Okay. All right. There's so much to build now. Like I said, the game's so much more fun now that we've got it. Uh, now that it's this way. So we need planks and sticks and metal. Do you know? Let's just put everything over here just for a second. And then what I will look at is if we can get the spear. So unlock the spear. So that's equipped now. now. Does that mean we can get fish? Is that what this is for? Let's go and have a look. Oh my god. I mean the fish don't really come close enough. Maybe this is a skill in itself. Or is it for the sh... Oh, I got one. <laughs> Alright, so we got one. Excellent, so let's go and cook that then. <laughs> I can't believe we actually got that on our first try. Alright, so let's go up to the thing and let's put that in the barbecue bucket. Oh, if I can get up there. There we go. And then the barbecue bucket's here. So if we drop the fish in there then. And then the planks. I don't I don't want to put them all in there, do I? Let's put like... Um, let's split it. Let's put seven in. And then run. Oh, look. So now that's a new way of eating, and then the next thing that we're going to do is to get the water distillery, which is this one. 12 scrap metal, 4 planks, and 8 sticks. Alright then guys, so we're getting a bit of a base now. This is a much, much better um, like setup that we've got. If you're liking this video, like I said, and you want to see us build this base up even more, then please make sure you let me know in the comments down below and drop a like. I'm really enjoying it so far. So we've got our raft, we've got a little workstation there, we've got the um, thing to dry out for the rope, we've got our crafting box, and we've got some fish barbecuing nicely over there. So if you want to see more of this, make sure you let me know, and if you're not part of the Latana army already, make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.